What can we expect from you this fall, Devin? What are some of your goals? Uh, some of my goals, I mean, I think it's just more about becoming a bigger role for the program just as from a leader standpoint and really bringing the guys together and becoming a one single unit, which I think, especially after this first day, it's been really good to see how we were operating. I think we came out first day, really came out really hot, and I, I love our practice today especially. So I don't know. As far as goals, I mean, my only goal for here is to win. So that's about it. You look bigger. Yeah, so since last season, I was playing around like 190, 195. So now I've just weighed in at 207 today. So definitely put that weight on. I know you got your opportunity because of injuries in front of you, but just how valuable is it to have a lot of healthy guys at each position here to start camp? Yeah, especially coming into camp and just to operate throughout a whole season, having a full room of guys definitely is beneficial for all of us, especially since none of us, so that none of us can get like overworked coming into the, coming into the season, too many reps. So it's definitely nice to have a full room of guys. You said 195 to 207? Yeah. Why did you want to go get those 12 pounds? Coming in, uh, being a running back at 190, 195 in the Big Ten, I'm kind of under <laughs> advantaged, obviously. So getting that weight on, get some strength behind me with my speed, I think was very beneficial for me. So I'm in a really good spot right now. What was the process to do that while also maintaining how fast you want to be? Yeah, I mean, it was just about eating clean and just getting my cal caloric intake. But that was about <laughs> it. <laughs> Tell us about the offensive line. A lot of change there, Devin. Yeah, I really like our offensive line. We got a lot of size, and there are a bunch of really good guys that I think are going to do really good for us. What does Reggie bring that, uh, you know, obviously you and Tracy had a good one-two dynamic last year, and then Coach Walter says he's still looking for a third that can kind of supplement you guys. So. I think Reggie's a really good, hard-nosed, shifty guy, so I think that he's going to be really good for us, sharing some snaps and getting the ball downhill for a one-two attack. I think it's going to be, you're going to see glimpses, the same thing you saw last year. I know primarily you guys want to run the ball well enough to win, and that's all that matters, but what would it mean for, this, for the program to get back to having a 1,000-yard rusher? I mean, to get back to having a thousand yard rusher, I think it'd definitely be special. I'm never one that's chasing accolades, really, because the main thing's the main thing, but it'd definitely be cool. It's not, I guess you look at it, it's not necessarily just an accolade for you, it's an accolade for the whole yeah. running game, actually, yeah. for the offensive line. Like, they get some recognition if you do a thing like that. Yeah, that's a good point, just coming in with the whole offensive line, because we wouldn't be able to do anything without them anyway. So it would be a good thing just for the whole program in itself to have another thousand yard rusher. Are you noticing more depth from that offensive line? Because I know that that was obviously an issue. Just yeah, especially since last year we were very, very limited in the amount of guys we had on the O line last year. Especially when we started getting injuries. So seeing the depth that we have this year, I'm really not worried about that at all at this rate. So it's, I really like what I'm seeing so far. Seems like depth is across the board, and especially with playmakers, they wanted to give Hudson as many options as possible. What do you like about how the receiving game now can kind of help out the running game um, and vice versa? Yeah, especially with just the recruiting and how we've hit the transfer portal. I think we got a lot of weapons now all the way across the line in the in the wide receiver room. So I think all across the board on offense and defensively, we've got a lot of playmakers that we've gotten. What do you like about the quarterbacks competing behind Hudson? Uh, he's going to be the starter, but you know, you, last year Northwestern, you kind of used two different uh, quarterbacks in that game. Uh, Davila comes in, obviously very talented. There's a lot of competition for QB2 right now, right? Yeah, I mean, especially between like Ryan Market or and Marcos and stuff like that. I mean, they're both really good guys. Ryan's really good on his feet, so he's really good at tucking the ball and running, obviously. So, and Marcos is really good at placing the ball where he wants to. So it's gonna be interesting how that plays out. Just two different type of guys. So situationally, we have more depth than what we want to do. Aside from putting on some muscle, just what did you focus on primarily this off season? This off season for me, my main thing was my weight. But with that weight comes, you don't want to get slow with it. So it's just maintaining and working out, especially with running the program. I think he does a great job with us. But the main thing was just keeping my speed and agility with it. And I think we've done a really good job at that. Well, what what are you thought of Jaheim Merriweather thus far? Jaheim Merriweather, he's a really good guy with some good size. Still a little green, obviously. But as we work through this camp, he has a lot of time to really develop and mature and really hit the ground running this spring or this fall, I guess. What's your latest car project? Cool? <laughs> my latest car project, I was working on my Mustang. I finally got a headliner in it after a year. <laughs> that was about it. But I finally got a spot with a garage, so now I'm going to be working on it so much more. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Thanks, guys.